Howdy, people of art here, and just wandering the streets, working on trying to get more of the cipher key fragments. Yay! Because I like the cosmetic stuff. Hey, you're gonna go around and be bored in video game. You might as well be, you know, look pretty while you're doing it. So, pardon the gun that I'm using, because I just don't care. I'm not really using them all that much. But one of the things I did notice while I'm just wandering around aimlessly is... Okay, this is... This particular set of rooms here is also seen on the tractor trailers. And trucks like that. Alright, no big deal. But what I've noticed is a lot of vehicles share the same rims. Is that a bad thing? No, not really. Okay, this is Crown Victoria. It's got the black and silver. And this whatever the hell minivan. Excuse me, but I am talking. I'll just go kiss my ass. So, you got the regular silver rims like that. It looks like hubcaps. Cheap hubcaps. But I've noticed that um, some of the school buses have what appear to be mag rims. And I'll see if these up here do the same thing. But. Bye guys. All right, so the gear set that I'm actually using right now is pardon me for just a minute. I'll go back to my regular weapons. And Yeah, the, um, the gear set that I'm using is a final measure tactician build. It's the one I call the, t the final tack. And I'm using the Ninja Bike Messenger bag along with final measure, two piece, I'm um, sorry, three piece, which is going to give me protection from elites and exotic damage resilience. How's it working? I'm not as happy as I could be with it. I'm going to probably change back and go to Tactician Gloves. This I just found on the street, just wandering around aimlessly. Um, throw that on there. That's going to give me back my four-piece Tactician set. And I'm going to lose one on the final measure. But the one that I definitely wanted to keep was the holster because on the final measure holster, holster, or a classified holster, you have three stats that are rollable, and I've got 7% uh, skill haste, and decent rolls on the other pieces there. Now that I've got two plus one, it's going to give me the, the same two pieces like that. I'm not going to get the four piece. So, the four piece on the final measure was a nice thing, because, excuse me, these idiots are still alive. Um, it allowed me to, to capture the grenades and reuse them. It would have been nice just then. I would have actually diffused his grenade instead of getting hit by it and be bleeding. But what I noticed that I was just not doing as much damage as I was before. So now that I'm pretty much out of combat mode, um, loadout wise, oh, the skill on cooldown, eat a dick, it's not like I'm in combat, here, blow up, okay, but yeah, like I was talking about the rims, who the hell puts mag rims on a school bus, really, seriously? 
So, as I was saying about the loadouts, I've got my regular tacticians here and PVE. I'm actually going to overwrite this one. Yeah, I'm going to overwrite this one. So, this is going to give me my tacticians back, whereas the other one, the final tack, is actually quite useful for um, quite a few different things. Whenever you're playing solo and you're dealing with areas where you know you're going to get grenades spammed, the, the final tack build comes in quite handy. You can still stay on cover, you can still be a lazy bastard and, and throw grenades and seekers and turrets, but you don't have to work near as hard to be able to get that accomplished because when they start spamming the freaking grenades you can just tuck over to the side defuse them and or pick them back up so they both have their places but I find that um, this action just does a little bit more whenever you're in that mode and why am I doing these over and over and over and over again because as I said I want to get the cosmetic stuff if you look at your dossier in missions I believe it was complete 10 search and destroy missions and I'm on 8 actually this will be number 9 so I'll have one more after this and I get an, another cypher key fragment um, high value targets I'm at 25 of 50 and you know you split it up between those and the weeklies by the time you get 50 you've already accomplished another one so you'll get search and destroy target eliminated and highest value target which highest value is this one <clears throat> where you're you're having a complete 10 rank 4 high value targets which I would assume will be the higher end world, world tier or world Ugh, shit I can't even talk weekly high value targets so if you just complete 50 high value targets with some of them actually being the the high end weeklies then you're going to get that award um, and then by completing the, the three of them total you get this awesome little patch with the skull and cross daggers the patches are a nice little thing you know I've got a few patches inventory appearance patches um, Land of the Free, whatever. Um, Hair of the Dog. Sausage Party. Gunslinger. Fun one. Worth getting. Um, <clears throat> it was really good to, to try to get that one during the global event. Weapons Master. That's what I'm wearing now. Diamond Hard. Intoxicated. Pandemic. This is really easy to get. Just finish something or do something in a global event. Look, this one was just for clothing. This one was for skill kills. Uh, for creating, getting a certain amount of money. Um, in the army we had what was called the Rainbow Ribbon. The, the Thanks for Coming Ribbon. So yeah. So what I are be doing right now is just simply going to run around and do two more of these priority target things and that's just for hmm, savage clothes junk only reason why I'm collecting these other gear sets is also for simple achievements I already got a real cleaner so I guess I could look at some of these things before I just automatically dismiss them as garbage but to complete different achievements like wear all six pieces of final measure or wear all tacticians or what have you they're relatively easy to get and easy to to knock out uh, it really it's just for the cypher key fragments and with the cypher key fragments once you get 10 they turn into a cypher key and with the cypher key you can exchange that for a cash at the vendor and get some cool cosmetics so what essentially I'm 
trying to do is I want to finish getting the tactician's clothing set. I've got everything but the damn shirt. So... Oh, hi. Um, what I'm going to do is... Excuse me, but I was talking. Yes, yes. Um... Seriously? More of you assholes? You're gonna make me use a make kit. Pieces of shit. So... Do you get anything for having all of them? Yes and no. Um... Pretty much everybody knows that my primary build is, you know, tactician state build. For running Seekers. on every crowd. Are you still alive? Where are you? So, yeah, there's the astronaut clothing set, which I could give less than two shits about because it's been changed. It doesn't look like the original astronaut set, so it's not worth getting anymore for me. However, you need to just frickin' die and shut up. Um, take a look at it real quick. Is in the appearance, if you go to collections, um, by getting the last piece of strikers, which I still need the striker pants, that'll complete this set, and that will give me the Spacefarer's shirt. Tacticians, I need the shirt. If I get the shirt, I get the pants. The Spacefarer pants. On um, the Reclaimer set, I still need three items. Pants, shirt, and hat. The Spacefarer collection, the hat looks like crap. It's yeah, okay, but it used to actually be a space helmet, and they took it out. Pants, okay. Mm -hmm. A scarf, yeah. The shirt, okay. And the shoes. I've already got the shoes, so not so much worried about that. But I would like to have the damn shirt to go with this set. I'm wearing all the rest of the tactician stuff except for the shirt. Is it important? <sighs> for a nerd, yeah. Dipshit, whatever. So, yeah, it's kind of important for me. I want to get that yeah, complete set. So I'm having to do these little medial tasks of running around, kill 5,000 Rikers or... And yeah, it's a large number like that. And if you think about it, in combat, if you look down at the very bottom of the list, they got Alex, kill 5,000 rioters, 5,000 rikers, 10,000 total enemies, uh, kill 500 with a pistol. Yeah, I'm halfway there. Um, 500 with a light machine gun. For five, 500 agents, 500 kills with an SMG, eh, not too bad. Weak points, 5,000 weak points. That's going to take a while to get. By completing all of those, you can get Master at Arms and that lovely patch there. But you also got to do um, Marksmanship Rifle with 5,000 enemies. Uh, yeah. Now, lean on me is not too bad if you run a reclaimer set. You should be able to get that pretty quickly. Um, every time you heal somebody or, or whatever, it's good towards this. And if you're into the reclaimer thing, then you're going to want to earn this patch because, well, it's an EMT patch. It's going to look cool. So, yeah, if, if that's your thing, then definitely go for it. And I'm on Search and Destroy, and I'm going to get back to it. Now, there's also one for helping citizens. There's also another one for dismantling items. 
So yeah, I'm picking up every piece of junk that I can find, and then as I start getting close to full, I'll come through and dismantle junk. Not that I need the materials right now, but it all goes towards the um, the getting cipher key fragments is all it boils down to, to get all the different achievements accomplished. You know, while you're wandering around doing the search and destroy, there's no real shortage of you know, Rikers and LMBs and things to kill in general. So, at least while you're doing that, you can switch to a pistol. You know, try to get some pistol kills or shotgun kills or assault rifle or whatever, you know. You can just go have one of those. Not even worth walking back for. Of course, it's one of those like that will be the one that drops a, an exotic. You know? Oh, the dailies are rolled over. I've already gotten my explosion kills for the weeklies, so now I can get them for my dailies. Yay! Do you guys enjoy one of those? Oh, got a heavy. Nice to like climb the stairs. You know, it's been like what two years, so I think it's time to clean up some of the trash. No heavy is going to want to rush up here. And he's going to go after that turret. The turret is great bait for heavies. So I'll grab this piece of junk loot and then head on to the next one. So basically, what I want to do in this, this, I guess, live stream is I'm going to go ahead and finish out doing some of this. Um, the reason why I chose this area is it's relatively small, so you don't have to walk as much for doing the search and destroy missions. You just want to get in, get them done. I will change locations and go to... If I really get in the mood to go after LMB, then I'll go into the right side, you know, the upper right side of the map, and run some of those. But like I said, just what else is there to do? Right now, besides chase down achievements. I only got my daily um, explosion kills already. What are you even trying? It's only ten after. Um those the the dailies roll over uh every day. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, weeklies roll over Friday at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So, um, if you ever wondered when do they roll over, if you really hadn't paid attention to it, that's the the time. If you're in a different time zone, yeah, figure it out. But you know, on Eastern Standard Time, if you're on the East Coast of the U.S., then yeah, that's when they change over. Run, run. Now that ladder wasn't going to do you no good. Huh, secure the area. I've been doing these same ones over, and this is going to be another heavy on this one. Huh, how did I know? Oh, that's Godfather. They're shooting at me. Hey, he's got another heavy. Who the fuck? I don't know if I'm missing my hands. Elevated platform I was sitting on. Alright, so I'm returning to the safe house and that one are done. 
So, yeah, I mean, these are, with a decent build, they're really easy to knock out. Um, you can usually clear the whole set in, what, ten minutes? Five, if you really hurry up. So, I got one more to go. And... Like I said, you can check your progress. Figure out which one you're running and just roll with it. So that's nine. Yep, I got one more to go. So I'll refresh my items. Do this last one, and this should give me the achievement. And with that achievement, it's going to give me one more cipher key fragment, which will automatically convert over to a cipher key. And I'll go ahead and, and we'll open up one together. We'll open up the. Um, I don't even know what they're called now. Um, the, the caches. Really? Hey. Let's enjoy that. Cypher key cache, or whatever the hell they're called. Hey, look, I can break that down. I'm not even looking at what they are. You know, I've, I've got other gear sets, you know, and, you, and other loadouts and so forth. This is just the one that I, I use every day, is the, the tacticians. Um, like I said, I've been using the... Oh. Well, I'm still going to finish up this uh, achievement anyway. Um, as you saw on the bottom left of the screen, that it said that automatically converted it over. Damn it, I put that turret up there and didn't even eat it. So, as it is now, I could just go back to the base of operations and go ahead and grab that. But like I said, uh, this is going to be... A, a, I will speed run this one. I'm not going to waste a hell of a lot of time on nonsense. <laughs> I saw a seeker roll back to me. Didn't know what that was about, but I'm just going to go ahead and speed run through this and go ahead and finish up this one and get the other achievement, which will give me another cipher key fragment. But as it is now, I've got a full cipher key because it automatically converted. Hey, look. Another heavy right there. Now the the last time I did this particular one was uh, from the other side over there. Should only be one more objective left. And I can roll on. <sighs> Prototype performance mod. Alright, so let's get that one knocked out and let's roll on. Didn't even know there was anybody over here. So this is, you know, even being a relatively small area. Still 1150 to walk to get to the next one. Yes, I want to go over there and nuke those guys. I'm sorry. Why are you alive? I mean, seriously. I'm actually gonna have to work. There, enjoy. Anyway. Really, one of them's still alive. 
I didn't think so. Oh, so you're gonna flank me? Really? Just die here, level. That was a reclaimer something, I think. Wait, I can see that the thing is over here, and it's telling me to go the other direction. I understand that um, the pathing is going to use major avenues, major streets, things like that. But there's almost always a shortcut to get from point A to point B. This particular one, I think, is the parking garage, which is right around the corner, and I don't think there was any heavies. I think this one's just going to be a couple purples. In fact, I don't even need to go around the corner. Should be able to do it from right here. You no, know, the seeker should have taken care of it. Throw that up there. Are you mad you can't get to my turret? Come on, you moron. Just die and get it over with. And look, now you have friends coming. Okay, so that's done. It's gonna go back to the safe house. Once these morons are done. Come on, some of us don't have all day. Alright, so we'll return this. The search and destroy missions are so easy to do, and especially since there is an achievement for completing 10 of them, then spend an hour, run around, do them, get it over with. And their combination unlocked. Now let's head back to the base of operations. And we'll go to the vendor, and let's go ahead and get us one of those caches. And let's see if it gives us either of the two pieces that we need to complete either of those two sets. Preferably both would be nice. Although I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. So you come over to the premium vendor. Encrypted cache. That's what they're called. Drum roll. Dead Eye's shoes. I apparently didn't have those. Mmm, shoes. Cobalt glitch backpack. Eh. Fur lined boots. Ooh, sexy. Yep, okay. So, that's that. All about the cosmetics. All right, so the shoes, dead eye, and fur aligned, and collections. Dead eye. So now I just need the dead eye hat, and that'll complete that collection. So I'm getting close. I'm getting closer. And that was missions. And once you've completed that are full, will actually appear at the bottom of this or part of this list here. Oh, that's just phase one. So instead of ten, now it bumps up to fifty. 
And then once I complete phase, you know, this next stage of it, hell, it's probably going to be 50 more of them. So, you know what? I got what I needed. Good enough for me. And exploration. Yes, you got to double click these to be able to get into them. Helping hand. I was helping civilians. So if I do another 50, that should bring me up to the end. And I get this lovely little SHD patch. So. Now it's time to get rid of some more junk. Don't need you. Don't need you. I don't need you two either. Yes, I know you have mods on there. I don't care. I have way too much garbo that I collect. Any good? Nope. Any good? Nope. And two more to check. And no, I don't need to save these because I already have the Rainbow Six, whatever you, you call it, uh, where you have on one piece of gray, green, blue, purple, and gold armor. Already done it, and I'm good to go. Backpack skin. Sorry, I can't stand having those little flashing icons or anything on any of this stuff. It bugs crap out of me. Alright, so that all is that. And as we see, there is no global event right now. Um, another problem that I see is I'm getting close to 5,000 Phoenix credits, which is the maximum cap is 5,000 you can carry and I hate to waste them but I also hate to lose them and as you see I, there's just nothing else I can really get I mean I could start buying these just to waste the, the Phoenix credits um, firearms backpack blueprint I'm not going to use those definitely not going to use any 229 weapons and I already got the best uh, one of these you can get so I don't see buying the other ones but I end up having to come through here and buy the lesser quality garbage just so I can waste Phoenix credits so I don't lose them kind of a dumb idea it needs to be a little bit more balanced in the economy I mean you can come over here to the special equipment vendor and browse through and buy some of these but I have probably three I've gotten rid of Cassidy's I've gotten rid of pecans historians and liberators I've gotten rid of them just to make room and I still I have more exotics that I need to get rid of that are just wasting space um, I haven't looked at the vendor role of, of what's going on with the vendors right now but one item that I did find that wasn't too bad that's going to have its uses the flat iron vendor has got and I picked up three or four of them just for the hell of it and just because you never know when they're going to be useful they're rolled 267 electronics with 2.5% exotic damage resilience. So I picked up a few of those because you just never know. I mean, a 267 roll, if you just want the electronics, that's a good way to go. But I think that would work pretty good if you're running a, a D3 FNC set. Um, maybe also um, a Reclaimer set where you want the skill power, but you want some survivability also. Might not be a bad way to go. And that vendor is flat iron. That's medicine. Meat locker. Yeah. Yeah. Medicine stand at the flat iron district. I haven't checked all the vendors to see if 
they all have something decent. Um, I, as I get to them, as I'm doing the search and destroy missions, I was actually just going to pop in, take a look, see what they got. And you've got the cunning gloves. Eh. But as you see, 267 with uh, two and a half exotic damage. So if you want them. They're going to be here for 71 hours, 35 minutes, and 42 seconds, 41 seconds, 40 seconds. You get the idea. All right. I think we're going to call it all for this broadcast. And what I'm probably going to do is very shortly I'm going to do a Let's Play. And hopefully, hopefully at least half a person enjoys part of the uh, Let's Plays. Um, but, like I said, right now, there's no global event going on. And really, yes, I could play Last Stand, or Survival, or Underground, or any of the activities on, on the map here. Like daily missions. I could run Lexington on hard and get that as a daily. Hudson Refugee on hard. I do need to, to knock out this on challenging and on this for an achievement, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So, I'll probably come back in and do it later because I'm sure I'll find a group. But we're going to take a break for now and. I think here in a little while we'll probably stream some Let's Play for, you know, one or two major missions, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, thank you for watching, and again, please comment, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, the usuals, and thanks for watching.